we bought a toy hauler. <laughs> Well, Jordan and I are on our way up to Northern Ohio. We're heading up to the uh, Cleveland Akron area because we're going to go look at a toy hauler. Now, the one thing I want you guys to know is we drive a Chevy Silverado 1500. This is our truck. We love our truck. Uh, I wish we knew more about tow capacity when we were shopping for our truck back in 2021. But no matter what, I don't want to get rid of this truck. I really, really love it. Uh, this is basically Jordan's daily, unfortunately. When we bought it, I was like, hey, we're not gonna daily this, are we? And he's like, no, of course not. I still have my car. And, and, my and car. then he sold his car. So yeah, Jordan dailies the truck. And <laughs> so that's why we still just don't want to get rid of it. But we are on a very fine line category of toy haulers that we are able to safely tow with this truck so we're looking for something with the uh, unloaded weight dry weight of less than 5,000 pounds and I think we might have found the perfect one so we're enjoying a two-hour drive up there on a beautiful warm sunny spring Sunday and we're taking you guys with us we ended up pulling the trigger and this is what we're buying This is a Forest River No Boundaries 19.1, I think it's called. Uh, this is just the best toy hauler that we have seen for our little half ton pickup. So I'll take you inside and show you what we're working with. So this is the outside, nice big windows. It's already upgraded with dual tanks, a little outside table, beautiful full size awning. It has the back ramp that doubles as a fenced in patio. Gonna love hanging out and drinking on that thing. What are you doing? <laughs> it has a ladder. It has a ladder. <laughs> I wanna go, <laughs> what you did with the weedy bitty water? Bitty water. The weedy bitty water. <laughs> it has roof access. It has roof access, here, show them. And it's a little dirty right now, but they're gonna clean it, but it has everything up here and you can walk on it. But I was saying we could even have like a rooftop like patio, like sit up here and drink. We're just gonna be doing a lot of drinking. <laughs> I mean, what else do you buy a camper for? What else do you buy a camper for? So this is the outside. We have the dual axles. It has the upgraded underneath. So it's coated for a cold weather package. Insulated, yeah. It's insulated. There's no rust. Um, you have the, the all the way through storage, but I'm gonna go ahead and take you guys inside now. So this is a used model. It already has the, uh, there's a wheel chalk in here, some aftermarket, I don't even know what these are. We'll figure it out. 10 D-ring hooks. Uh, this is a fold down couch. This is a little fold down chair. And then of course we have the storage, the air conditioning, extra speakers, tons of lighting. These are giant speakers. Subwoofers. Subwoofers, yeah. Yeah, yeah this dude outfitted it with a crazy stereo. Yeah, the previous owner likes to party. Will you turn the lights on? Um, this is the kitchen, so it is kind of narrow. This is the bathroom here and then the kitchen, but it's got a very decently sized fridge, two cook burner top, a little vent, lots of storage, a convection microwave, and then this is a nice sink. I like the really high, but yeah, deep, nice big sink. A queen size bed, a camper queen as they call it. Uh, 360 windows in here, and then a TV. And I guess he has the amps down here, the amps for the subwoofer. <laughs> I want to meet the guy who sold this. And then, like I said, this is the bathroom. So go in here. You got your little flush toilet, big old sink, lots of storage, me. And then a very nice, like big shower with a closing and magnetic curtain. So of course we go back out. This is back in the little living room area and out into the ramp. Thank you for coming in on your day off, Paul. I really appreciate it. I don't mind at all. <laughs> it's been wonderful. <laughs> so if you guys are interested in this area, we are at Camper City here in Peninsula, Ohio, near the Cuyahoga State Forest. Paul was so nice. He actually came in on his day off because I inquired about this camper. So just being able to come up and see it in person and actually know that this was the one for us. Everything looked amazing. They took great care of it. We signed the papers, baby. Let's take it home.
Even though we bought our camper used, it was still a pretty penny. So I'm forever grateful for today's sponsor, Sunday. Our yard has seen much better days, and especially after we added the second garage onto our property, we've been struggling to regrow some beautiful grass to help fill in the spots that look a little bit naked. The ordering process was actually incredibly fun. You just head over to GetSunday.com, and then at the top of the homepage, you're gonna see a button that says, I want to take better care of my lawn. All you do is enter your address and then click Start Lawn Analysis. It's really awesome because it shows you a satellite view of your property as well as how big your lawn is, and then from there, you get to choose how often you use your lawn, who uses your lawn, and all the different personalized questions to build the perfect package. From there, you can add personalized little custom add-ons to your cart, which for me, I got the core seed and feed because I'm trying to regrow some of the grass over here, and uh, mosquito repellent. My order arrived just in time for my husband to get started on his early spring lawn care routine. Using the product was actually very easy. You don't have to pre-mix anything, and I'm really grateful for the core seed and feed. I think that's the part that I'm actually the most excited about is regrowing growing some of this grass back here. If you guys are interested in trying this product out for yourself, you can save 20% by using my code two wheels 20 down below at getsunday.com slash two wheels. Come in, welcome to my cribs, everybody. Uh, let's turn on the lights. So obviously you guys already saw the first half of this video where I already gave you kind of a tour, but I wanted to invite you back in now that we've had it at our house for a couple days and just to show you our thoughts, our plans and what we've already done. So come in. Um, it looks exactly the same. We did learn that this little wheel chalk was actually for a pit bike. And these are, I believe they're Pitbull brand. So you would, the attachments would go into, I think the axle. Yeah, the rear axle. The rear axle of, uh, I think the guy used to race motorcycles. So that's what these were in here for. We're probably gonna take these out of the floor and just use the traditional D rings and I don't have a bike small enough to fit all the way over here in the corner. So we do have two TVs in here. Um, the previous owner actually hooked up the entire camper with a serious stereo system. The only issue is one of those speakers are blown out, so we're gonna have to address that here soon because it drives me insane. Um, come on back to the kitchen. I'll show you what we're going on back here. Uh, the kitchen is pretty much exactly the same as what you saw in the beginning of this video. The only thing I'm worried about is obviously when I cook this is a gas stove and I'm a little worried that I'm probably gonna run out of propane even though it has the dual propane aftermarket upgrade I'm just worried that I'm gonna run out of like all of my resources I don't plan on doing a ton of boondocking but you just never know so the kitchen's still exactly the same we found out this flies off very uh, easily when we trailered it back home this was on the ground and I think my least favorite part that we've learned about this camper already is this bed is quite literally a pain in the ass to put sheets on because you can't get back into the corners. But let me show you the bed. So it's a big old queen size bed, got our sheets on it already. But yeah, back here, it's, you can't, like how, how? And this goes all the way up to the front. Anyway, I'm just a, I'm a big lazy baby. What are you thinking of our new house on wheels? It's a learning experience. It's a big learning experience. Let's uh, let's talk about that real fast. <laughs> I feel like we're posing for a family photo. <laughs> so we did not, like we've never owned a camper before. We've never been RVing before. And I will say, I'm gonna go ahead and call him out. The reason that I have this toy hauler is because of my good friend, Adam Sandoval. If you guys don't know, Adam was gracious enough to let me stay in his toy hauler in like the giant extra million beds that he had in that thing while I was in Sturgis for a couple of days last year and it ruined me. Yeah. I don't. Thanks, Adam. Thanks, Adam. Yeah. I don't ever want to travel without my motorcycles and a place to stay. So Jordan has, we've worked out a very awesome future lifestyle where Jordan is now able to travel with me a lot more. And we want to bring his bikes and i've already talked to you guys about the fact that his sportster is an amazing motorcycle it's comfortable he built it to suit his needs but it's still an 883 and it's only a five speed so riding that across the country just didn't seem like a great idea to do all the time so this was our uh best case scenario solution so the very first place we are planning taking this camper is a local campground we're not going to load the bikes. We're not going to do anything. We have a lot to learn. 
Um, what's the number one thing that you need to do first with this, like learning wise? Probably dealing with the water, the gray water tanks, the black water tanks, figuring out how to drain that and not get shit everywhere. Literally. So he speaks a lot softer than I do. If you can't hear that, he says the water tanks and we do the sewage, the, the gray water, black water, fresh water. That's a whole new world to us. We did learn that this camper, this is a 2021 No Boundaries 19.1 toy hauler. And uh, it actually has an external, what is it? Spigot, faucet, input for a hose. Like the fresh water or a hose hooks up to it and it'll flush out your gray and black water tanks. Apparently that's a new thing on new campers. Uh, and I think that's going to come in handy big time. So we're going to take it, trailer it over to a local campground, um, just go camping for a night, full hookup, sewage, electric, everything. And obviously I'm going to take you guys along with us for that. Cause I have a feeling it's going to be very embarrassing. <laughs> and then, um, we've never towed before. So you guys know, you saw in the beginning of this video, we have a half ton truck. It's a Chevy Silverado 1500 and we don't even have tow mirrors. So we probably would have done a camping trip a lot sooner, but without those tow mirrors, it's pretty intimidating trying to back into parking spots. Um, he's been doing really well though, like way better than I did. <laughs> We're towing for the first time ever. I'm on edge. I'm like super nervous. Jordan says things feel good. Um, it's just a totally different feeling. It's we, the, the camper is totally empty, unloaded, no motorcycles, nothing. So we're just towing it right now for the very first time to get back home. How you feeling, babe? All right. Okay. Just giving myself space. People keep cutting over in front of me right now. Yeah, we're taking it pretty easy. We're only doing, we're doing two under the speed limit right now. Cruise control felt pretty good though. Yeah. We were using cruise, so. Yeah, I'm actually really impressed by the, uh, weight distribution hitch. Yep. Like I don't even really feel it bouncing, but I just feel the weight in the back end. Yeah, we definitely did the right thing, bought a weight distribution hitch and it's worth every penny. What are you like looking forward to with this? I don't know. Probably just going different places. Yeah. And if we get to bring Midgey. Oh yeah. So the cat. Midgey is great. You know, she's a, cats are self-sufficient. They have their litter boxes. We have her on an automatic food dispenser as well as an automatic water dispenser. So when we leave for a week, she's good. Um, we're planning on hitting the road for about a month here in July and August. And I'll get you guys more information on that here soon with the places that we'll be going. But we're going to have to bring the cat with us. And because we have such a small truck, we couldn't get a big camper. So as you could see, there's not a lot of space in here for like a litter box. So we're going to have some custom projects coming up in the camper that might be on Jordan's channel. If you guys don't know, my husband has his own channel, Jordan Ray over on YouTube. It's always linked in my descriptions. Please subscribe because he's doing fun stuff. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're going to have to do some custom projects to make sure that we can accommodate our kitty mommy. She's already been out here a couple of times and she loves it. She loves it. She, she loves the window. Doesn't want to come back inside. Go lay on the bed. Oh my gosh, it's a perfect kitty window. Yeah, we've been trying to slowly acclimate the cat to the camper so she's not freaked out and uh, she doesn't want to come back in the house. <laughs> so that's a good sign. I like that. So the one thing that we did have to do is we uh, purchased um, a trans cooler to help cool off the transmission while we're towing. Uh, in Ohio, we do have some hills. We did have to go up some grades and down some grades, but it's nothing compared to what it's going to be when we start traveling out west. So yeah. those are some necessary evil purchases, which again is why I'm so stoked that I got to partner with Sunday for today's sponsor. So I know you guys like to crack on sponsors a lot, but it literally is how we are able to create this content for you for free and be able to travel full time. So thank you. And that is my beautiful toy hauler, you guys. Um, to say that I'm excited is an understatement. It's gonna be a whole new learning experience. I'm very nervous, but I'm also very, very excited for the freedom and the opportunities that are gonna be presented to us now 
by having a place to live and a way to haul our machines. We are still waiting on the wheel chocks, so we can't haul any motorcycles with us just yet. And that right there is gonna be a whole new learning curve in itself. I did practice pulling my Himalayan up into the bed of the toy hauler, and I'll show that clip real fast. So that was fun. I felt good doing it with um, a heavier motorcycle is gonna be a challenge for the first time but we'll figure it out. Thank you guys so much. Without you, without you subscribing, without you watching these videos, this would have never been made possible. I would have never even considered the idea of owning a camper because I like to go motorcycle camping. I still will be doing regular motorcycle camping on this channel. It's not gonna be all campers. This is just for when we go travel. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please go subscribe to Jordan's channel if you haven't done so already. And subscribe to mine if you are excited for the upcoming travel that we're going to be doing. Thank you guys so much for watching. And until my next one, you be good and I'll see you later.